Volcano Team, let's talk about the supplies that you're going to need for this mission. You will need to have copies of all four maps to use as a reference. As well, you need a computer to obtain information, pencils, and calculators. You should also have a volcano data sheet and volcano graphs, such as these. Every five minutes, you will receive data regarding volcano tectonic, which we're going to refer to as VT, and rockfall, which we're going to refer to as RF. You will receive this information every five minutes about the Sufri Hills volcano located on the island of Montserrat. You should divide the tasks amongst your team members to complete both the VT and the RF information at the same time for each reading. Let's look at the VT information first. Volcano tectonic information is important because it provides an indication of the seismic activity of the volcano. Should this data increase, it's indicating that the volcano is building up pressure that could result in volcanic events. The first part of the data to arrive on your computer screen will be the GMT time, which stands for Greenwich Mean Time. Please put this information as well as the hourly VT number on your volcano data sheet. For the first reading, you will not have anything to add for the cumulative number. So just repeat the hourly VT for this reading. Using the 24 hour multiplier, calculate the projected hourly VT event number and record it on the data sheet. Record this number on the hourly VT graph as well. At this point, we will need information from the RF team to complete the set of data. Let's look at that RF information. Rockfall is measuring the amount of rock that's falling from the dome of the volcano. This indicates a volcano event is happening, perhaps even a release of pressure of some kind, maybe an ash cloud or pyroclastic flow. You will complete the data in the same manner as the VT data. Copy the hourly RF event, use the same number for the cumulative for the first reading, and use the hourly RF multiplier and then graph the RF event. For the total seismic event information, both the RF projected hourly and the VT events are added together to obtain this number. Once all information is gathered and calculated, transfer this information to a report form. Take this report form to your communication officer and relay information to the evacuation team as well. A member of the volcano team will need to update the graphic organizer. This may be a whiteboard or a large displayed paper, whatever your classroom chooses. This needs updated with information that you feel the rest of the team would like to be made aware of regarding the volcano. Maybe volcanic activity, maybe an increase in the graphing trends, whatever your team chooses to display. Once the second set of data arrives, you will repeat the process of calculating the data, and this time including that cumulative data. This is completed by adding the previous reading's cumulative number to the current hourly event. Remember to share this information with all teams to ensure the resident's safety from the volcano events. Good luck, volcano team.